in here, right here on this installment of hourly WWE news, rumors, and headlines. We got breaking news on something unexpected, very unexpected. Just days before the showcase of Immortals WrestleMania, we have giant backstage updates on all your favorite WWE superstars going into the greatest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the mecca of all things WWE, and it's going rampant. And why are WWE fans erupting online near the site of WrestleMania? Also, Bobby Lashley handcuffed in. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes' opinion weighed in on CM Punk's WWE return talks. Also, massive significant updates on John Cena. All that and much more in a few moments on The Brash and The Brazen. Hit my music. Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View End, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. Whose WrestleMania appearance is going to be uncertain and what WrestleMania appearance is is going to be controversial. We're going to bring that all to you. We're going to uncover it all here on Sean's View because that's what we do for all the viewers, the fans, and the subscribers. While rumors are swirling about John Cena's potential appearance at WrestleMania 40 this weekend, it will be very limited. However, no one has yet to confirm his presence in town. However, Cena's schedule for the remainder of 2024 is set to keep him occupied off the radar of WWE. But according to BW Insider, Cena will be busy filming the second season of the DC series Pacemaker through June and November in the Atlanta area. The shooting schedule is expected to wrap around Thanksgiving, making a significant commitment for the renowned wrestler turned actor. However, if he does show up at WrestleMania 40, here it is. It's worth noting that the, the, the Dirt Sheets, Sean's View, Ringside News exclusively reported that there are no plans for John Cena or Stone Cold Steve Austin to actually participate in a match at WrestleMania 40, but make an appearance as a camo appearance. Uh, now, whether or not they get down and dirty, whether or not they uh, have provocation, whether or not they have physicality remains to be seen. As Cena's focus shifts to his commitments with Pacemaker, WWE fans may have to wait until after Thanksgiving to see any major appearances in the wrestling realm. However, the prospect of Cena's return to the ring remains an exciting possibility for fans who eagerly await his next move in the world of the WWE. And remember, John Cena said he can go until he is 50 years old. And as we all know, John Cena is nearing that point. Speaking about remarkable and shocking returns at WrestleMania, the showcase of Immortals. It would appear as if the iconic Undertaker and Kane, the brothers of destruction, could see their way at WrestleMania 40 again. WWE uh, rumoredly wants all hands on deck. They want to bring back stars from the present, the past, the future, and even rumors of Bill Goldberg being thrown there, even some McMahon involvement. Now, I don't know how McMahon would be involved in it, but maybe Shane McMahon, maybe Shane McMahon's son, because, again, Shane McMahon did allude, his son did allude to that, that, you know, expect the unexpected and that anything can happen in the WWE, and that is an old motto that everything can happen in the WWE. Literally anything can happen. Also, just coming through my desk right now, Bobby Lashley says he's felt handcuffed in the WWE the last year or so because we all know what happened with Bray Wyatt and Bobby Lashley last year, the late, great Bray Wyatt. Also, breaking news on next year's main event for WrestleMania 41. Guys, this is just dropping right now. Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, one-on-one. -on -one. That is one of the matchmakers, one of the matches being thought about for next year's WrestleMania 41. Now, here's the thing. if Cody, Now, do you want to see Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk? Do you want to see that match happen? Do you want to see CM Punk, Cody Rhodes, one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania? Would it be remarkable? Would it be a main event style match? Would it be something you were looking for? Is it something you would be asking for? However, listen to this one, guys, in a killer update. At SummerSlam, there is rumors and speculation that at SummerSlam, before CM Punk meets Cody Rhodes, it will be a remarkable triple threat match. Drew McIntyre, CM Punk, and Cody Rhodes in a triple threat match at SummerSlam. That's at SummerSlam. Now, see how the WWE are trying to differentiate themselves. They're trying to make it so it's not CM Punk and Cody Rhodes one-on-one. -on -one. They're throwing all kinds of different ingredients. They're all throwing all kinds of different spices. They are going to really uh, build this thing up between Cody Rhodes and CM Punk on the road to SummerSlam, and that should be absolutely remarkable. And no matter what you think about CM Punk or Cody Rhodes, that is a money-making match. It is a money-making opportunity. Also, breaking news on NXT. I still like to call it the yellow and black brand, the gold and black brand. 
641,000 viewers with a 0.20 in the 18 to 49 demo, which is up from last week's 601,000 viewers. Also, The Rock is commenting on his WWE future. I'm not off the board until I'm not off the I, I'm not off the board after WrestleMania. I'm still on the board with the WWE, and I always be a part of the WWE. And we are in it now. This is our thing, and will forever be our thing. Now, of course, you know, The Rock is going to have other commitments, other movies, but The Rock will always be connected to the WWE now. The Rock will always be there. Also, there was a lot of rumors and speculation that we all know CM Punk had that big shoot. CM Punk shot on AEW. He let out his true feelings. He let out his true emotions. There was a lot of rumors and speculation running rampant online. Would The Rock fire? Would The Rock suspend CM Punk for what he said about AEW and, and, and you know, going off the hook? You know, uh, you know, you know, de deviating from the script, so to speak. Uh, was it out of line? Was it questionable? Was it controversial? Was it PG? Was it what the WWE ultimately wanted at the end of the day? And the feeling is that The Rock probably wanted this to happen. No, The Rock doesn't want to fire CM Punk. He doesn't want to suspend CM Punk because there's going to be a massive match between The Rock and CM Punk down the line. Now, we all know that The Rock has faced CM Punk in the future. We all know that it's went down, but it's going to happen again. One-on-one, -on -one, CM Punk versus the final boss, The Rock. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, there's been a lot of rumors running rampant. We're going to bring this up again about Becky Lynch, her retirement, her not renewing her contract, her being at the end of the road, her wanting to take care of her kids at the house. And also, The Rock is revealing how long WWE has been planning his WrestleMania 40 match. Love seeing this positive impact for all out of the world of wrestling, rising tide, lifting boats. Love seeing this positive impact, lifting, lifting uh, rising tide lifts all boats. Over a year of strategizing with my TKO uh, uh, WWE partners, Ari, Nick, and Mark on how to bring the greatest value to the company and set up the WrestleMania 40 this weekend as the biggest of all time. So The Rock said this has been going on. This has been in motion for a very long time. And also, Nick Khan is revealing The Rock's post-WrestleMania 40 plan in Goldberg, the only one that wasn't naked, that who that's who I married, Goldberg, and how he actually met his wife and how he's going to return to professional wrestling one more day. Also, Goldberg says, am I retired from in-ring competition? He says, you're not truly retired until you are dead. And Eddie Kingston is, re is, ne is uh, reacting to CM Punk's negative comments about AEW. Again, what did you think about CM Punk's comments towards AEW? Were you for it? Were you against it? Did you approve of it? Did you agree with it? Or do you think it was out of line? Or do you think it was a pipe bomb? What did you think about what CM Punk's comments were about AEW just a couple of days ago, which is still ranking high online? Also, the Hall of Fame 2024 might feature a name we haven't seen in WWE in 19 years. That being the bombshell that is ECW original Dawn Marie. She kind of looks like an escort, says Matt Cardona on his wife, Chelsea Green, being mistaken for it. Also, WWE are discussing Hulk Hogan inducting the late, great Muhammad Ali into the 2024 WWE Hall of Fame in Philadelphia. And Roman Reigns sends a strong message to Cody Rhodes on The Tonight Show. Cody is writing the wrong book at this point, and he's reading the wrong book, and we're going to close the final chapter because The Rock and me are the final boss. Ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts, your opinions on all of that here on The Brash and The Brazer. We give you the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most definitive. If it weren't for you, there would be no show on you. Stay tuned. Plenty more to come every day throughout every day. Later.